Hi Aptera fans, Tim Vaughn here. Today I would like to give you an update on the latest going on with our battery pack validation and some details about the unique elements to our battery modules. First, let me give you an overview of our battery module. It's made up of battery cells, current collectors, and a circuit board that talks to our battery management system. This is a cylindrical cell. It's called a 21700 cell. And this one has a chemistry in it that's referred to as NMC, nickel manganese cobalt. And the, that results in the, the higher energy density storage that's, that's possible in battery systems like this. Each module contains 384 of these cells, providing 7.3 kilowatt hours of energy per module. Launch edition vehicles will have six modules, resulting in a 44 kilowatt hour battery pack. This is an example of one of our current collectors. This one in particular gets welded to the top of each cell. This module system holds the cells in the correct location so that when the laser machine or wire bonder or anything like that comes down, it's a predictable location and that machine can then attach the current collector to the top of the cell, either to the anode or to the cathode. And that's done with groups of parallel cells across the module this direction. And then those cells are welded in series in this direction. So from the first group of three or four volt cells, all the way down 16 groups later, you end up with about a 60 volt module. Our module design is inherently flexible in that it facilitates multiple cell connection approaches, including laser welding, wire bonding, and ribbon bonding. It also is adaptable to cells from multiple suppliers, thereby reducing future supply chain risks. So this is an empty module. There are no cells in it. If there were, it would be very difficult to lift. This module sits in this aluminum frame. The particular frame you're looking at here is a prototype that's slated for one of the early PI builds. And these modules are bolted into the frame and they rest on a cooling plate or a heat exchanger plate that allows us to take heat out of the module or warm the module in cool environments. Finally, the circuit board, our team calls this the MIB or module interface board. This is the interface between the high voltage modules and the battery management system and the rest of the vehicle. You can learn more about Aptera's battery management system in the video by Andrew Stanton after this one. Now let's get to the ongoing validation work. Our battery module was subjected to aggressive vibration and shock testing over a three-day period at a local laboratory called Nemco Testing Laboratory. This highly accelerated lifetime testing represents 100,000 miles of vehicle use. The results are in. No mechanical failure occurred and all electrical performance was unchanged. We also performed microscopic inspection confirming no damage or signs of wear. Thorough electrical testing was also performed after the mechanical testing, and this confirmed that the module has experienced no capacity reduction or other electrical failure. Early testing also suggests that we can charge at a rate well above 400 miles per hour. This means we're full speed ahead building modules for our PI vehicles. I'm confident with our battery module design and along with the rest of the Aptera team, we're excited for the next few months of accelerated progress. Until next time.